So in this video we're going to go over the innervations um, regarding the, third, the, um, the thoracic. So we have the intercostal nerves and these are the nerves that basically are going to go between the um, or basically they lie under the ribs and so they're going to be going and innervating all along the intercostal spaces and the ribs and whatnot. And so they're going to provide sensation and um, a sensory innervation for the skin. So the intercostal nerves are basically um, T1 to T11. And T12 is just an FYI, is the subcostal nerve. And these are going to be continuous uh, continu continuations of the ventral rami of the spinal nerves. They give off lateral cutaneous branches that have anterior and posterior branches. They terminate as anterior cutaneous nerves with lateral and medial branches. And the cutaneous, of course, means sensory innervation to the skin. These are going to arise from the somatic nervous system and it's going to allow control for contraction of the muscles as well as provide specific sensory info regarding the skin and the parietal pleuras. And so these are going, there are a bunch of nerves that go out from there, um, a bunch of locations that it goes out to. So the first is the, it's going to go out to the Ramey communicans. And what this does is it, it connects the intercostal nerves to a ganglion of, sympathetic, of the sympathetic trump that lies adjacent to the vertebral column on both sides. The next that it connects to is the collateral cutaneous branch. And the function of the collateral cutaneous branch is it's going to run parallel to the main nerve on the upper border of the rib. So if we're looking at an individual rib, so imagine this is a rib, it's going to lie on the upper border right here. And then we have the lateral cutaneous, and the lateral cutaneous, the function of this is going to innervate the skin on the sides of the thoracic wall by dividing into anterior and posterior branches. So this is going to go out into the anterior and the posterior. And so the anterior cutaneous branch is the terminal portion of the intercostal nerves and it's going to innervate the skins the skin now um, uh, around the midline of the chest by dividing into the medial and lateral branches. Then of course the posterior is going to do something similar. Um, then we have the muscular branch and as the name kind of says you probably guess that it's going to innervate all the muscles of the intercostal space as well uh, of this uh, of the intercostal space so I mean the name is kind of given as to what it does. Then we have the plural branch and you know this is another one of those kind of given it's going to be the sensory branch that goes to the parietal pleura and then lastly we have the peritoneal sensory branches and then the peritoneal sensory branches are going to be similar to the pleural sensory branches but they're going to rise from the lower intercostal nerves because the lower intercostal spaces are more related to the uh, peritoneum than the parietal pl uh, pleura. And so if we were going to look at how the um, how the vasculature as well as the innervation looks in terms of the rib, if we look at an individual rib, so we're going to kind of blow up this rib. So imagine this is an inner, um, individual rib. And now if we were going to look at this, 
the intercostal is basically we have our artery that comes out. We have our vein. And then we also have the nerve. So basically, all three of these guys, or van, so our intercostal van, are going to be in line with each other. So they're going to be following along the same path as each other. And so that's just something, in some parts of the body, we have that advantage that they're all together. Now the thoracic cavity is basically the space within the thoracic walls. There's three main compartments of the thoracic cavity. There's the two lateral, they're going to house the lung and the pleura, which are the, line, the lines of the membranes. Then there's a central uh, compartment, which is the mediastinum, and it contains all the thoracic structures, meaning the heart, the thoracic parts, the, the great vessels, the trache trachea, esophagus, and the thymus. So that's basically a thoracic cavity. And then in the next video, we're going to go into the lungs and the pleura um, and kind of have more of a breakdown of what's going on in the different parts. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And uh, if you like the channel, please subscribe.